Okay. Um, now we come to the part of uh, the program where we have the questions. Can I get oh, to ask I'm a sorry. question? I skipped Melissa. Okay. okay. Melissa, what's your question? Uh, I have a question. Good. Yeah. Good. Who are you going to uh, ask? <laughs> um, this question is to Camille. Um, I think this is a topic you might have a few ideas about. So um, I I'd like to know how you think we're doing, we're progressing in elementary mathematics. And specifically, I'd like to know what you think about everyday math and whether that's been an effective implementation and how you'll affect, assess the effectiveness of math instruction going forward for all of our students. And finally, what do you think the board needs to do to ensure that the implementation of the math task force recommendations are um, instituted district-wide? Can I just take one of those? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let your best. Okay. Um, just so people know, Everyday Math was a actual textbook that we adopted um, in a three to two vote, just so everybody understands. It was a three to two vote to adopt a certain textbook. And it is important um, that uh, once a board decision has been made that you move forward as a district to its implementation. But what's really important is that Melissa and I were, at, were the two voting in, in the uh, minority. And what we actively and I thought well did was teed up what the issues were with the textbook, whether it didn't meet uh, the needs of special ed students, whether it, it was a little uh, language intense, so those who didn't speak English. So where are we at? We look at the results every year. Um, we got a bounce the first year because we did so much teacher training and that was a great payoff for it, but we will continue. The jury is out every year we check on it. Um, Any can comment? I comment on that? Um, you know, I would say that there's a silver lining for me in this implementation in, th in that we did some extensive staff development around mathematics and a lot of elementary school teachers are not that comfortable with math, so it was helpful to do that. Um, but if you look at the CST results, those are the standardized tests over the last three years, the results are really mixed. Um, students who weren't yet proficient in math in grades four through eight have dropped slightly. So that's good. That's um, an improvement. But the percentage of students making a year's progress has um, really dropped slightly. So, um, and the percentage of students on grade level has basically stayed the same. So I think we need to look at the CSTs on a regular basis and use that as a way to evaluate how we're doing. Um, we also need to make sure that we have questions in our surveys around our refresh of the strategic plan that ask parents, teachers, and students how they think um, the challenge in math is and whether we're effectively challenging our students. 